Amouage's creative direction has started to shift in the past few years from utilizing heavy incense to utilizing florals in an abstract way to create art in a bottle. This is one of those creations. Let's delve into it. What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to another Robes 08 fragrance review. Today, I'm gonna to put my nose on the house of Amouage, big fan of the brand. And one of their, I would say, controversial releases called Myths Man. <laughs> Myths Man hit the shelves in 2016. Bottle sizes are 1.7 and the one you see here, the 3.4 ounce bottle. Concentration eau de parfum. Uh, pricing online, you're looking at $265 to $330, so you better make sure that you like it. This is definitely not blind buy worthy. Don't do what I did. I just love Amouage and I'll blind buy them all day, every day. Before I get into the mean potatoes of the fragrance review, I'd like to thank my partner, FragranceX.com for Miss Man. You can utilize my sweet code, Robes08 on FragranceX, and you get 15% off on anything on the website, including Miss Man. So let's get into the noses behind this one. Three uh, perfumiers behind this one. Daniel Vicentin, Dorothy uh, Pio, and Karin Vicent Spenher. Now let's take a look at the notes. Um, as I said earlier in the fragrance review, this is uh, heavy on the florals and definitely is, but I love how Amouage utilizes their florals, not to make them too feminine. They use a very um, interesting florals in their fragrances. So let's get into it. The notes. Up top, we got iris and we got chrysanthemums. In the mid, we have rose, vetiver, elemi, and rum. And in the base, we got leather, ash, and labdanum. Major notes to this nose right here would, would have to be the chrysanthemum, the iris, and the ash. Group, this is an oriental fragrance. How many sprays and where? I put more than I really should. And again, I'm being honest with you guys. Um, you shouldn't probably put this much, but right now um, it's snowing while I'm shooting this fragrance review. Yeah, it should be spring, but it's snowing here in my hometown. And uh, I love wearing this liberally in, in the winter. Yes, I would wear less during the spring, but one on the chest, two on the neck. So one here, one here, and then two on the arms. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. So I'm gonna go inner elbows and I am set. Um, I'd usually go my three if it gets a little warmer. Now, before we delve into this, I wanted to dispel a, a myth about Miss Man. Huh? Huh? Uh, we'll start this, uh, this uh, delving into this fragrance by uh, saying that, yes, this one is the opening of this fragrance as compared to urinal cakes by several reviewers, not on YouTube. There's a couple on YouTube that talk about it. Um, so urinal cakes uh, kind of have at times a lemony smell, a citrus-like smell. Um, this has LMI in it, uh, which also has a lemony smell. Um, also, it also has a, a pungent, um, smell that attacks your nose, which is almost like a menthol-like camphorous odor. Um, and the uh, floral in here, the chrysanthemums, uh, do have a menthol camphorous odor. So now that that's over, over with and everything, we're looking at this fragrance as a whole, um, but you may get that. So I wanted to just point that out in this fragrance review. Now that that fun part is done, Let's kind of dissect this fragrance as a, a fragrance head like myself, uh, one that appreciates arts and fragrances, and is this thing wearable or do I smell like a urinal cake? That is, of course, up to your nose, but I will tell you what I get out of this fragrance. So the urinal cake thing, um, yeah, I kind of get it, but um, it, it really is lost with me because when I wear this fragrance, I absolutely love it. The more I wear this fragrance, the more I love it. So let's, let's do the initial spray here on my hand, double, double the spray, let's go into myths. By the way, chrysanthemums, I have a hard time saying it and I don't feel like shooting it a million times, so I'm gonna start calling them Chris, <laughs> just cause. So if I'm talking about Chris, it's about the chrysanthemums, yeah. So let's get into it. The dominant note in this opening is the daring floral of Chris, <laughs> which brings out a medicinal floral quality that can be bitter. Uh, sweet herbal with a camphorous like musty leafy tone. Um, so you are going to get that. That is your central theme in this fragrance. Um, it, it does all of this in myths. Um, it really shows the whole floral aspect of Chris. Um, it really does. It, it, it's just like Sunshine Man um, with their floral note. Um, same thing with myths. It just takes everything from that floral note and really just 
shows you every single facet of that floral note. Um, in this, the central part in when I first spray this on, what do I get? Um, it's the menthol-like take of that floral. Um, it really gives this scent a freshness and uplifting uh, feel to the fragrance. Um, its complexity as a floral note truly shines with Amouage's DNA here as it makes Myth very unique in the men's fragrance game. It really does. There's nothing from Myth that I ever smelt in the men's fragrance game at all from my personal journey. Um, this is a floral that isn't too floral, um, feminine, right? Um, and Amouage is utilizing these florals that aren't too feminine per se, and uh, really makes them, they're more interesting notes in the, in the game. Um, the LMI backs this up. Um, it gives the florals a citrus tone, um, more lemony than anything. Um, it has its signature pepper feel to uh, the fragrance that LMI does, and some woods here. Um, the LMI and, uh, of course, the chrysanthemums um, kind of blend together and in the introduction and make people think of urinal cakes. Um, it it kind of reminds me of a mix of Vicks Vapor Rubs because of the menthol-like feel. Um, meets kind of Theraflu, um, kind of like a cough um, drink. I mean, it really has like that lemony aspect um, with like a menthol-like aspect to the fragrance. Um, that may not sell you any more on Miss Man because it's not as, that might not be as pleasant as urinal cakes to you. <laughs> uh, but of course there's more into Miss Man that we're gonna get into. So there's a slight rum-like accord here that guys gives the scent more, um, less boozy and more about the sweetness of the rum and the spice feel in the opening of the heart. Um, there's some powdery aspects in Myths uh, from the iris. So the orris root really pulls a lot of the powdery aspects, but I wouldn't classify this as a powdery scent, but it does have that aspect to the scent. Miss Man has a very cooling opening with a transparent smoke with a deep, cold, ashy-like quality. The chrysanthemums, the orris root, the rose give Miss an undeniable floral taste. And Amouage is starting to be the master of the floral art in the men's game with Sunshine and now Myths and moving away from the being in the master of the incense game. I'm truly not hating this, um, this change in Amouage's direction. Um, I, I thought I would. Um, a lot of people probably do that really like their darker, deeper scents. Um, I'm kind of applauding that they're going. There. I feel like Amouage was always an artsy brand. Um, however, with the incense game, it just felt like they were in a, a deep, dark, black corner somewhere in, in the fragrance game, which is fine. I love it. I love that corner. Um, but uh, they're going more artsy and more bright. Um, and they're using florals in, in this manner, but also utilizing a lot of their... Uh, their complexity, their depth, and they're continuing to be very much um, interesting as a fragrance brand. Um, and I really am in awe of this fragrance house that can change itself in this manner from going from really dark, deep, and mysterious to almost bright, um, still mysterious, artsy, and still doing a really good job. Like I've never seen a brand go from left field to right field like this in this manner and continuing on their regular path of what you would expect from the brand. I'm um, really well done from Amouage. Uh, the chrysanthemums here dominates the scent in the opening. You got the iris back in it with the LMI, and of course that ash, a very interesting ash in Amouage's uh, Miss Man. Um, the incense-like ash, it almost feels, the ash feels like soft, flaky ash. It almost is like really, I wouldn't say uh, really, um, it feels like cold ash. It feels like it's been there for a while. It's very thin, soft layers, but it's flakes of ash. Um, it has a dry, dusty appeal, um, and it remains throughout the scent. Um, the ash is really just your backbone of the scent, and it continues throughout, but your florals is your major factor. The ash is almost like underlying behind the main theme. You see, you got your florals here, and you got everything else, your LMI, you got your iris, and, and all this stuff, and you're gonna get labdanum here later on. Um, and, and other, other things, but you still have that ash just underlying throughout the scent. Really artsy and beautiful. Now more into the dry down on this man, uh, it goes into a darker territory. So it's a almost a two-tone type of fragrance. Um, it almost feels like a, the bottle, right? It's, it, it's very light and, and then it starts getting darker. Um, 
first of all, the color of the bottle is, is wrong for this type of imagery for me. And I'm gonna get to that. So in the dry down, mist starts getting to the darker territory. The florals always present starts moving from primary to almost secondary notes, the ash, the leather, and the labdanum kind of helps the leather because it, labdanum has a, a, a smoky leathery type smell to it also. Um, they start taking the reins of the fragrance. However, never really too dominant. I know it gets compared a lot to Interlude, the big blue bottle. Somewhat not as big and bold as oof, Interlude. No, 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 um, This is a, a lighter, it's still dark though. Um, it's all about that dry ash note at this point, to me, to me personally. Um, people really do like the leather in here and, and other items, but I really think the ash here, the dry ash note from start to finish in my eyes uh, was the, the star of the show uh, with the florals, of course. Um, that chrysanthemum, man, I'm, I'm, it's just rolling off the tongue now. Uh, Oris continues to hit with its hint of powderiness. It also has has that familiar creamy aspect that iris gives out to a fragrance. Um, the labdanum gives out its familiar darkness with the leathery uh, feel. Um, slightly resinous, slightly, slightly sweet also, um, and that ends Miss Man. Um, the more I wear Miss Man, um, the more I'm enjoying this fragrance. Um, it, it really took me aback uh, first wearing. You know, this is one of those things that if you had like one little sample and you're like trash, mm, I don't know. I don't know, if you're a fan of Amouage, I wouldn't uh, take this one as a just a one sample. And if you're a fan of Amouage, you know this thing, you know the routine. These are fragrances that take time with you and they, they will live with you. And depending on your taste, you may like or, or dislike. Um, Myths, in my opinion, again, my opinion, is just another banger from the brand. Uh, as the complexity is there, the art in the, the art artistry of, of this fragrance and scent form is there. Um, she's wearable to me, and I love it. Um, so obviously she's gonna get a good score. Uh, Amouage is utilizing florals at a, as an abstract art in their fragrances, and hell, they are killing it, and I'm all for it. Keep it coming, because really you are, I'll be honest, uh, Amouage's incense and, and spices and things like that, I'm really familiar with those, and now they're just going left field with those florals. And I am enjoying this. Why? Because I am discovering these florals and the complexity of these florals is the Immortel in Sunshine Man was just, pff, forget about it. Miss Man with the chrysanthemums, man, it's just rolling off the tongue. Beautiful. Um, I've never smelt that floral in that manner, in that type of complexity, ever. Amouage killed, killed it. Florals for men, oh, that is such a tricky genre. And Amouage is killing it in the game right now. Uh, when wearing this, I felt the color of the bottle. I, I, I wanted to touch upon this. I don't see purple here. I really don't. When I'm wearing this, I'm feeling kind of gray. It's got a gray feeling. I really wish that this bottle had like a gradient gray to, to black. That's me. Um, beautiful, beautiful design. But to me, I'm picturing a, a different color in my eyes. Um, but some people, the purple may go with it. So let's take a look at recommended age. Miss Man, as far as price tag and amouage and the artsy feel of this fragrance, it's got to be 25 and up. I don't think anybody any younger than that. Um, if you do love Miss Man and you're younger than that, I salute you. Um, you are a boss. Um, this thing is really for an older generation. Uh, fragrances that it's compared to, um, Interlude Man is highly comparable to it um, in a lot of fragrance reviews. For me, I don't see it. I, I think it has some, of course, uh, fragrances are gonna pull from each other. Um, but as far as Mist Man, in, in what I've smelt in my whole journey, nothing, nothing. Um, it pulls a lot of, you know, things. Just, I had some fragrances that had an ashy quality and things like that, but not as far as this floral goes. Best time to wear this fragrance this is a nighttime fragrance. I'm also uh, enjoying wearing it during the day, um, but mostly a nighttime fragrance. It has some daringness to it. It has some thickness to it. Um, so mostly nighttime. Spring nights, I, I think, will be killer. Uh, spring days, uh, cooler spring days, like overcast spring days, I think that'll work well. Fall, this is gonna work like a, like a beast. Season, spring and fall, mostly. And that means day and night, but mostly night. Winter also, and summer nights. Summer nights, this is gonna to work too. Development, linear average complex as Amouage does. Let's put the Richter scale way all over here because it, she's complex. Work appropriate, nah. Signature scent worthy, no. Um, so let's get into the rating system. Let's see what this one gets. And it's gonna get a good score. I already told you guys that and it will. Um, you know, people say urinal cakes, I don't care. Um, maybe it'll be stuck in my mind as it's smelling to me. 
Nah, man, I'm I'm smelling the art, uh, the the way it was pulled together. Um, I'm looking at projection, longevity. Can I wear this out? Yeah, I have no no questions asked. Um, you know, when fragrance reviewers do say that uh, those things, I, I do st take a step back and and wear it out. You know, see what the wife says and things like that. But to me, I, I do get what you guys are talking about, but I don't get that feeling when wearing this. I f I feel. A lot more things than urinal cakes on this one. So let's get into it. Projection longevity, as you can see, double digit on both 10 and 10. Um, Amouage does things very well. They haven't strayed away from that. Projections a 10, it's high. It's high. It's not beast, but it's high. It's really good. Longevity 10, 9 to 12 hours. Myth Man does its thing. Compliment factor six bottles out of 10. Again, a little lower score here. Um, you can't get 10s all the way through, but. Common factors, not really there, fairly average. Um, I did get some, some good pull out of this one. However, nobody told me I smelled like a urinal cake, so I guess that's a bonus for me. Uniqueness, 10 bottles out of 10. Um, that chrysanthemum is out of this world, uh, unique for me in the men's game, really, really good stuff, um, as I'm as always does. Pricing versus what you get, nine. Um, yeah, some people may judge me on that one saying, Man, no, 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 I, I wouldn't pay homage pricing for this fragrance. I see the whole spectrum with this one and people that it clicks with, it's gonna click and it's gonna click good and it's gonna be worth the price for you. I'm gonna give it a nine. Versatility, seven bottles out of 10. It has some versatility to it. I can see it for spring and fall. It's almost like a tweener, uh, summer nights and some winter here. I'm really not too shabby as versatility. Smell, nine bottles out of 10. Really good score, Myths Man. Um, smells great. Once it clicks, it clicks. And that goes to an overall score. Amouage, Miss Man gets a nine bottles out of 10. A very solid score on my channel. Um, up there, uh, one of the better ones from Amouage. I wouldn't say top five as far as my taste goes, but I appreciate it for what it is. And that's why it's such a high score. Will I wear this out? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. It'll be, it may go in some top tens. Probably not number one but it's gonna make some top tens over the years. And that goes to buy, try, or pass is a definite try. Um, things are way too polarizing with this fragrance. Reviews are way too polarizing. You you go to people that's saying this is a dud, this is zero, it smells like urinal cakes. I don't wanna smell like I'm going to the bathroom. And then there's me on the other end. So I'm, he, you guys are, some people are here and I'm here, and then there's some people in the middle. So you gotta decide, again, as always, trust your own nose. So thank you for watching my review on Myths Man. Um, by Amouage. Please leave a comment if you ever smelt this fragrance. Uh, love, hate, good, bad, and the ugly. I love hearing your take on uh, fragrances that I review. And as always, remember, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching.